Okay, I'm ready to do your reading. We're going to do a few things here today. We're going to use these, my do-it-yourself oracle cards. Let's see what we get. Is this tic-tac-toe? Kisses and hugs? What's this all about? God, I can't see anything. If you've been here before, you know this table's new for me. This whole setup is. So that's what I got when I split the deck. Hugs, kisses, infinity, porn, the ancestors. That's pretty weird, right? Never know. Might mean something to you. But before we get into this, I shuffled these huge cards here. This deck. This is actually, I did it this way. Look what's there, the lovers on the bottom. Beautiful, oh my god, look at that card. This deck's new to me, I hardly even got to look at everything. This is the card for it. It's from Italy. It's an addition deck. This is 625 out of 1,000. So uh, we could go with this lover's card, and then on the bottom now, on this do-it-yourself deck, is smite, which could also mean smitten. Love and smitten, they go together. So I consider this like a pre-shuffle, what we're doing right now. Let's see what else we got. We'll start with this. I did shuffle. All I'm going to do is I'm going to split the deck to see what we get. These are very hard to shuffle, so... Let's take this, whatever this is, we're going to take it. This looks like there's a cup down there. See it? Very hard to see. Pretty cool outfit there. Look at those colors. Wow. This is called the Knave of Cups, which is the same as the Page of Cups or Princess of Cups. Basic meanings about love. It's like when love's awakened, young love, visionary, mystic person, a seer. And all those things relate to the creative side of people, their imaginations, their feelings. Could be a muse, which I love the idea of that. It's also one of the cards that represents twin flames falling in love or someone who's an object of love. Now, when this first came out, I think we got it in reverse. And that's like being stuck. Like this new love starts, doesn't get anywhere, it kind of gets hung up right away. And it's also interesting, we already had the Two of Cups earlier, then we had this Smite card still out, just smitten. The perfect word for this card actually being smitten. These cards go way back. I mean, 15th century. Bonifacio Bembo is the artist. He was around the time, say, 1420, 1477 in Milano. Did I say that the Knave of Cups can also be the Jack of Hearts? Because they used to use regular playing decks in the beginning before what we know as tarot today came about. So we are doing. Water signs today. So we're off to a very good start as far as being plugged in, tuned in. I already did earth and air. So let's clarify. Let's get some other cards here. Or actually, before we do that, let's use some of these charms. See them? Mix them up real good. Get my hand in. I don't know, obviously, what the hell I'm going to get. Here's just one. It's a tree. Beautiful tree. I get it to focus. Trees are about being stable, about growing, having very deep roots. Some trees grow roots together. That's how they communicate. 
trees are great. They show us the, it's, they're like clear signs of seasons changing. They affect the air, the water, the earth, all the elements except for fire. So it's kind of contradictory to this smitten vibe going on here because that means the roots never took hold. Let's get some more cards and see what we get. Put this back here. Peace. So it's on the bottom. Nine of Wands. I already shuffled quite a few times here. But I'll do it two more just for fun. I just see here. Four cups, more cups. All right, we'll get a popper or a flyer. All right, one, one came out. There it is. More cups, but in reverse. Oh man, this was rever This was on the bottom. Four of wands in reverse. Boy, this is all saying the same thing here. See the trees. This car is all about foundations, strong, loving foundations. Again, could be a twin flame. One, 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 one. That was in reverse. Just remember, all these are in reverse. I don't want you looking at reverse cards. Are you crazy? Queen of Cups in reverse. See those strange creatures? That's thoughts and feelings. A little creepy, huh? They're, you know, they look like beasts of the water. Put this over here. Oh, man. Well, I don't know who's gone through this. Surely not a good time. Maybe it's just a temporary situation. Could very well be. So we have the princess or the knave cups. And we have the queen of cups. Be their same suit. Then we have some fire all in reverse. Queen of cups is cancer. You might have cancer in your chart, your person. Cancer is ruled by the moon. And like I said about those weird creatures, kind of mysterious. Could be things of our dreams or unconscious. Very sensitive sign. Also known for being very nurturing. But in reverse, not so much, right? This queen here, all right, say somebody's smitten. They fell in love, but it seemed to be a very quick thing. Or it could be still happening. And when you're in love and somebody's not returning it, it's obviously painful. Some other things that come with that is <clears throat> jealousy, like drowning in our own emotions. It can become even obsessions. It seems like the worst breakups come when one person really has a deep love for the other and it's not returned. Especially when ghost things involve, which happens an awful lot these days. It's that feeling like just unable. Like this person would try. I think they would try to make things work. They might try a couple times, get rejected, keep trying. If there was a problem, maybe they asked for forgiveness, never heard back. They keep trying. They keep trying. So somebody's not willing to give them even one chance when they've given the other person a hundred chances. On the other hand, it could be somebody who, that queen could be somebody who just not expressing themselves. And that's, that's a, it just doesn't work that way. I mean, that's, that can smack a game playing or weakness, ego. How can, how can somebody expect somebody to be there for them, to even get to know them, if they don't make it known that's what they want? Just got to turn that around, you know? And this card here in the middle could be immature, could, you know, not only youthful, but immature. This this relationship here should be very strong. I wonder what's going on. Let's ask the cards. Let's get let's get some cards. Let's ask a question. We'll use this deck. These are the baby madrone. Visconti cards. I shuffled these two. I shuffled them earlier. Do it a couple times.
So we don't have any earth or air yet. Let's see if we get some. So what's the problem? Like, oh, there we go. What's the problem? Here's the answer. Four swords in reverse. Makes perfect sense. Four swords, a traditional deck is that card, the image, where there's somebody lying down. They have four swords on the wall, and they're resting or healing, doing the work. And that can be great. Or they could just be kind of tired, frustrated, you know. But here, it's in reverse again. That's air, by the way. We were talking about it. We did get air. That's Libra and Jupiter. Now, this, this card, is, again, is being about blocked. But that's kind of our question. We already felt like something was blocked here. Smitten. Somebody's smitten. Love is being blocked. This union. Maybe it's because somebody didn't have the time to put in to heal or to relax. Quiet time. Too busy doing everything else. Some, you know, could be legitimately so. Children could be in the family. We, this could be a child here. That naive. We're just, you know, so exhausted that they need actual rest before they can even heal. But this energy could be things are just slowed down. It doesn't have to be a total block. It doesn't have to be a block forever. Let's get another one. We'll get one more. I want you to think about a question, a yes or no question. We're going to use that. No cards are coming out. This is what, like, what, what's going on? Or, or what can we get as a message of, like, moving forward? What are we going to do here? All right. The magician popped up upright. First upright card we got. See the name? Oops. Well, that's our first major arcana. Very powerful. Magicians should be able to manifest anything they want. So what's the problem? They can manifest anything we want. I guess somebody doesn't understand that concept there. The magician's actually number one. So maybe we kind of have to start over. It's also Mercury, the ruling planet of Gemini, so more swords, also associated with um, Virgo and Aquarius. And air is about communication and intelligence. So <clears throat> sit next to that four swords in reverse. To me, it seems like this is the solution. Use our brain and communication is necessary. Can't get anywhere without communication. We've already had a lot of cups. Cups mean love. We'll have to get a roomy card. Yeah. Before I get roomy, I want to do this here. How can I do this without messing everything up? All right. We're going to use the pendulum. You should think about your yes no question. You're going to get an answer that will be yes or no. To whatever's on your mind. Okay. All right, looks like you have to rephrase your question. Some confusion here. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, it's pretty clear. Wants to go to no. 
Hope that's in your favor. No doesn't always mean a bad thing. That's up to you. All right, I'm going to get Rumi out. This is the kit. Book, cards, nice box. So all we do is shuffle like we always do. Seems like tables can never be big enough. That's why I moved over here today. I'm still away from my home base. The other table's smaller than this. And this one I can walk around. All right, let's see what we got. I just looked at the ocean. I was thinking that would be a very therapeutic thing to do. Somebody's going through it right now. You can get near any kind of water. Or even go outdoors for that matter. Look at the blue sky. What magic is that itself? This beautiful transparent thing. Or the clouds. It's all a miracle. Oh, come on. There we go. One flop flipped over finally. Somebody's not wanting to talk here. That's what I think. It's clogging up the works. Coming it up. Beyond the threshold of fear. We talked about the moon a little. The moon has to do with fear. I guess that's what that is up there. Looks like the sun, but could be the moon. Beyond the threshold. To move away from that. Fear is ego. Fear is related directly to ego. So I'm going to look it up in the book, and you can take a screenshot. Go by the numbers, this is 25. All right. Sitting on the floor. Enter the lion's jungle. Don't think about getting hurt. Fearful thoughts or phantoms of the mind. No one is harmed in this jungle. Everything is compassion and love. It is your fear holding you back, like a bar behind the door. Rumi. The thing that popped out to me in this reading, what we've done so far in relation to this, is the thing about fear, fear of maybe communicating, fear of rejection. There's nothing to be fearful about. Could already be hurt, being rejected. Could be clarity. Exactly what you need to be able to move forward or... Could go the other way. Could move to this four here in the upright, though. A strong relationship in the future. No one's going to be harmed, as it says here, in this jungle. Sometimes I feel like the world's a jungle. It's up to you. Everything is compassion and love. It can be if you start with yourself. Love. Just love yourself. Find that beautiful space, peace, and calm. Then you can also give it to others. Send it in silent messages. Send them maybe peace, strength, comfort, and love. Love, love, love. Yeah. And it, this book goes on to tell, it goes on for like two more pages. It says, push and pull, one step forward and half step back. So it has been for so long, and you have endured. Yes, you're winning the race, and fear is left to fizzle out. It was always a far less beautiful firework than your passionate conviction for love anyway. Better to let that dazzling firework come to light instead. It's much more satisfying. So again, it feels like this is saying, go for it. Be confident. Be loving. If a person doesn't return love, it doesn't mean the love has to end. Unconditional love goes on and on, whether you're distant, near, no matter what. No matter what the situation is. Pardon my voice. Seems like as soon as I go to do a ring, my voice disappears. 
I have 64 ounces of iced tea right here. Probably drank half of it. All right. Hope this was helpful in some way. Thanks for coming. It's not about me, of course. Kind of like a vessel. Kind of like friends just talking. Just using these as a tool, bring up certain subjects. So, hope you come back again if you found something useful. Thanks, and love you all.